Flight and technical characteristics of Vought OS 2U1 Kingfisher seaplanes. Engine, Pratt & Whitney R98 S48. Power, HP, 450. Wingspan, M, 10.95. Length of aircraft, M. On floats, 10,24. On wheeled landing gear, 9,17. Height of the aircraft, M. On floats, 4.61. On wheeled landing gear, 3,94. Wing area, square M, 23.34. Weight of aircraft on floats, kg. Empty, 1869. Taken off, 2538. Maximal speed, km slash h. With floats, 282. With wheeled landing gear, 285. Ceiling altitude, m with floats, 5790. Flying range with floats, km, 1683. In 1937 the US Navy's Bureau of Aeronautics announced a competition for a new shipboard hydroplane corrector designed to replace the SOC Segal Curtis in service. The set of requirements for the machine was not very broad, a crew of two, the availability of an interchangeable float slash wheeled landing gear and a wingspan of no more than 10.97 m. The latter requirement was dictated by the need to accommodate without folding, or dismantling, the wing consoles. Three projects took part in the competition, the, Model 85, XOSS-1, of Sturman, XOSN-1 Company Naval Aircraft Factory, the Aircraft Department of the Naval Aircraft Factory in Philadelphia, and Model 310, XOS-2U-1, of Voth. The first two machines looked like quite traditional biplanes with a float landing gear of a central and two underwing floats, with the possibility of replacing it with a wheeled one. The engines were also the same, Pratt and Whitney R134036 rated at 600 HP. True, with the all-metal kit, the Sturman had a metal fuselage skin and a canvas wing, while the XOSN1 also had a canvas skin fuselage. Naval Aircraft Factory, NAF, equipped their machine with a novelty, automatic leading edge flaps on the upper and lower wings to improve takeoff and landing characteristics. The Vought design team, headed by aircraft designer RB Bisa, approached the task quite differently. The company saw in the competition a chance to return to the market ship scouts, after all, during 15 years, Vought was a monopoly in the supply of such aircraft to the American Navy, and only in 1935, this monopoly broke the Curtis Seagull. The new machine had to be substantially superior to the competition. So the designers went for a monoplane scheme, a first for an American aircraft of this class. The semi-monocoque fuselage, wing, and fins were all metal, and spot welding was widely used in the manufacture of the airframe. This significantly reduced the weight of design while ensuring high strength, needed for a ship scout subjected to repeated overloads on launch from the catapult. The engine was 25% weaker than the competition, a 450 horsepower, air-cooled Pratt & Whitney R985-49 cylinder radial radial engine. The Bureau of Aeronautics ordered one prototype each from all three manufacturers, but Vought was faster than the competition, its XOS-2U1 first flew on May 19, 1938, and the XOSS-1 and XOSN-1 did not take off for tests until September. The flight tests showed the complete superiority of Rex Beisel's child, the maximum speed of the XOS-2U1 was 275 km per hour against 261 km per hour of the Sturman's plane, 257 km per hour of the XOSN-1. By another important indicator for a seaplane, landing speed, the Philadelphia machine had a slight advantage. Thanks to the developed mechanization of the wing, this indicator was 87 km per hour. The second was not the Sturman biplane, 92 km per hour, but the Vought monoplane, which showed 88.5 km per hour. This was achieved due to the low weight on the wing, XOS-2U1 weighed much less than its competitors, and the use of landing flaps. In general, the military was leaning toward the Vought product. This determination was confirmed by extensive sea trials on the battleship West Virginia, which the XOS-2U1 passed with flying colors in early 1939. On May 22, 1939, the U.S. Navy ordered 54 production planes designated OS-2U-1. And on October 1, 1941, the aircraft also received the name Kingfisher. The total production volume of Kingfisher, including prototypes, was 1,519 units. 
production was conducted at the concern about Sikorsky in Stratford and at the Naval Aircraft Factory in Philadelphia. Main modifications of Vought Kingfisher seaplanes. OS2U1, engine R985-48, 450 HP. Weaponry, two 7.62 mm machine guns Browning, synchronous and turret, underwing can be suspended to 45.4 kg bombs. Crew, two people. From December till May, 1940, 54 aircrafts were produced. OS2U2, R985-50 engine, 450 HP. Armament and bomb load were similar to OS2U1. The neutral gas system and armored protection for the crew was installed, fuel tanks capacity was increased by 60%. 158 aircraft were produced, 45 of them in the float version, 23 with bot floats and 22, Edo, and the rest, on wheeled landing gear. In addition, Edo ordered 70 additional sets of floats to convert wheeled aircraft if necessary. OS2U3, engine R985 and 2, 450 HP. Armament is unchanged. Armor was strengthened, and installation of a light machine gun was envisaged. Since May, 1941, 1,006 aircrafts were produced, 531 of them on the wheeled landing gear. 300 machines were equipped with R985 and 8 engines, 450 HP. Most of them were made at Stratford plant, 31 were assembled in Philadelphia from components supplied from Vought. The OS-2N1 was a variant produced by the Naval Aircraft Factory.